Hey, what's up, guys? Lost Gamer here with another pickups video. Um, I know I haven't made a pickup video in a while, but um, I have been picking up games, mostly PS2. But I have been picky about the games I've been picking up for my collection. And uh, let me get into my pickups. Like I said, I had mostly uh, PS2 games picked up. Um, these first set of games that I got, I got from GameStop. Uh, mostly the games I picked up are the games that I had uh, complete cases for from Dumpster Diving. And I just wanted to get the games for it, the ones that I saw that I wanted. Um, but before I get into that, I have one 360 pickup. And that's uh, Turning Point fall of liberty uh it is the collector's edition i believe everything's in it as in like the contents in it are all there uh the only thing missing is the slip cover it's all the stuff that's in it the map manual and everything i don't know why gamestop does that they remove the slip cover but they keep the everything else i don't know why they do that but um i got this for i believe six dollars it's in good condition still so i thought i'd pick it up hopefully i'll find a. uh the slip cover for it <clears throat> now to my ps2 games um all of these are complete all these uh games i'm about to show you that i got from gamestop uh starsky and hutch nothing special i got it for 99 cents and i had the case and book for it so pick that up uh but state of emergency uh pretty fun game i liked it i like playing it it's a rockstar title it's one of them games where you just go around and hack and slash and beat people up and stuff like that, but got it for cheap in good condition. I got a uh, SOCOM Navy SEALs, the greatest hits edition, which sucks, but oh well, not complaining because I, I still like the SOCOM series. And I also picked up SOCOM 2 uh, for I believe like 2 or $3. So maybe, uh, surprisingly, I think this one was, the first one was more expensive than the second one, so. But they're both complete and good condition. Uh, got Yu-Gi-Oh! The Duelist of the Ry uh, of the Roses, sorry. Uh, this game I got from Dumpster Diving. I found just the, uh, the CD, the disc at first, and then I found the case and the manual. And then it's in good condition, and, uh, condition it's, it's in good condition, it's complete. The disc is good. I buffed everything. So, free game. Got Medal of Honor, Rising Sun. It's a pretty. I haven't played this yet. I played a couple other uh, Medal of Honor games, but I haven't played this one yet. So, looking forward to playing this one right here. Also got Medal of Honor Frontline. I uh, beat this game a couple times and. Uh, I just didn't have it in my collection. I played it a long time ago, so just wanted to get it back again. I got the Mark of Cree, which is a good looks like a good game. I don't know. I have I haven't heard much about it. Um, I haven't really looked into it, but I I want to start playing it. It's one of those games that I just like. Seems like it's like my kind of game to play. So, but uh. I got that, and I believe the game after that I also got is Rise of the Kasai. I believe they're they're uh, in the same series from the looks of it. But um, this game all this game also looks pretty good, and uh, I'm looking forward to trying this out too. But I'm I'm going to try to play the Mark of Kree first, and then play uh, Rise of the Kasai. And uh, these cases had the top seals on it. I'm I'm looking for more PS2 games with that on it. I don't know why, but. But I just like having those. Alright. Picked up Grand Theft Auto Vice City. Uh, which is pretty cheap now. I just bought the disc since I already had the case, the manual, the map, and everything. So, buying the disc made it complete. And uh, let's go, we'll go into my collection. Um, I got Samurai Western. It's an uh, Atlas title. Uh, I had the, I found the case and uh, manual uh, in the dumpster, and I didn't have the game for it, but I didn't manage to find it at a GameStop. Just the disc, so I bought that. Looks like looks like an interesting game. I mean, I mean the Atlas title. I mean, I'm always interested in trying to play their games. So, so it's in complete condition now, and uh, I'm glad to have it. Picked up Contra. Shattered, uh, Shattered Soldier. 
played this game with a friend a long time ago. It's, it's pretty hard to play. A uh, very difficult game, but then again, all Contra games are, in my opinion. But um, I, I enjoyed playing this game. It was definitely a challenge, but I like having like that kind of challenge, especially in Contra. I grew up playing the Contra series, so I had to pick this up. Um, I, pay, I believe I paid a little too much for it. I, I paid $10 for it at GameStop, but I couldn't find this game anywhere. So when I came across it, I just had to get it. But um, if you if you guys haven't played this game and you like Contra, you got to pick this game up. It's, it's an awesome game. i got Final Fantasy X2. This is also a game that I've been missing. I thought I had it the whole time, but I only had uh, 12 and 10. So I, I picked this up, and uh, it was pretty beat up. The case that it came in, but... Uh, the manual was still in good condition, and the game was in good condition after I got it. And the, and surprisingly enough, the insert was pretty good too. But it was just the case was like the plastic was all torn, and it looks like it's been chewed up. But I did replace it with another case from all the cases I found from the, from dumpster diving, so it's in great condition now. All right, that's all my GameStop finds. Um, my next set of PS2 games I found, I found from pawn shops. Uh, I, I did go to like thrift stores, the Goodwill, like the Village and stuff like that. And I, I up to this day, I have not found a single video game in those stores or in my area. I do not know why. Uh, but I do go to the pawn shops around that area too, just to see if they got anything. I did manage to find some good games. So I'm, I'm happy I got them for the prices I got them in. And uh, out of all these games I got, well, there's only six. There was only one incomplete game, and that was Boulder's Gate, Dark Alliance. And uh, I, I played uh, this, this game before, too. I, I like the, the series, the Dark Alliance series and everything like that. But um, it sucks it didn't have a book. I mean, the disc was still in good condition, though. It just didn't have a book with it. But um, most of these, I don't know why a lot of pawn shops in my era... They they um, write on their cases, especially on the spine, like the number a number on it where the PlayStation symbol is. So, and they you know they have this whole list of games you can look through, and they look through by number. So every game I got from them, I had to replace the case. Or actually, yeah, every every case I got, not just because of the writing, because the case was all messed up too. And I'll show you that in a little bit. But um, anyways, I also picked up Tenchu. Uh, Wrath of Heaven. Uh, I have not played this game yet. I played a couple of Tenchu games, but I haven't played this one. It looks pretty interesting. Uh, this one's also, oh no, so this one is complete. Let's see if I can open it up here. The manual is in good condition, and the disc is in pretty good condition. I got that for like, I got this for a dollar. Got Dark Alliance for a dollar too. I uh, got Prince of Persia, The Sands of Time. This one was also pretty beat up, but uh, surprisingly enough, the case the case did its job and it like kept the insert from being damaged. Also, complete has the book, the uh, the book and I meant the manual and everything in it, in good condition now since I switched it out, cleaned it up. Uh, picked up Shiny Force Neo. Out of all the games I picked up from the pawn shops, this was the worst one. Um, this game was incomplete. I bought it for a dollar. Um, the disc was m like minorly scratched, but it wasn't anything that uh, would stop, you know, would interfere with playing because I did test out the disc or when I got home. But, you know, I tried it out. It was good. Let me just show you an example of how bad a condition it was in. When I bought it, the insert was like this. Like horrible, horrible condition. Like water damage, it's torn. It was incomplete. It didn't even have a manual. It came. It just came in like with this insert all beat up. But um, I managed to find the insert, a clean insert, and the manual from a GameStop. And I just asked them to let me have it. They just let me have it. So now this game is complete. Has a fresh manual. It feels brand new. Insert, also great. So, I only paid 75 cents for this game, which is awesome. Uh, but, Fantasy Star Universe. 
I got this for only two dollars at a pawn shop, um, which which was in considerably good condition still. The case was still good. It just had the number written on the spine, and I just didn't like that, so I just switched the cases out, which still looks good and is still in a pretty good case now. Also complete book, uh, the book and everything is in there. And the last game I happened to find at a pawn shop, which I'm very happy to find, uh, for two dollars. And complete is Katamari Damacy. A very, very fun game. It's very addicting. If you haven't played this game or you don't know about this game, please look it up. It's a very, very addicting game. It's it's weird just rolling around, like, picking up stuff. But, I mean, I thought it was weird, too, until I played it. And I just could not put this game down. I'm still playing it right now. Uh, it is complete. I paid only two dollars for this game, and I know this game goes for a lot more on eBay, uh, especially with the with its complete and if it's in good condition. And this game is in pretty good condition. I'll give this an eight out of ten, and I'm um, happy to find this game in a pawn shop for that price. So, very happy about that. And my last game I got, move these out the way. My last game I picked up just came in the mail today. And I'm very, very excited to have this game in my collection. I've been looking for this game <clears throat> for a long time for a, for a very cheap price, which is which is hard to find too, for for a decent price. Because this game on eBay runs about twenty five to like up to maybe sixty dollars, brand new. And uh, if it's complete, it's worth it's worth a good amount of money. But I've happened to find this game for only nine dollars. And uh, which is, I, I find myself very lucky. I consider myself lucky, but anyways, the game that I found is a complete copy of Shenmue for Dreamcast. One of my favorite, favorite, favorite games. Um, I would say this probably is my favorite game of all time I've ever played. <clears throat> I, I, I spent hours and hours and hours playing this game. And um, right when I got it, when right when I found that deal, I was hoping nobody would bid on it, and I got lucky and only got it for six dollars and three dollars for shipping. It is complete. The discs are in awesome shape. Got all the discs in it. All three uh, game discs. The manual. The manual is a little beat up. Looks like it had a little wear, like a little water damage, but but it's not that bad. I can always try to find a replacement and the passport disc that came with it. But um, there was a little little damage uh, to the case when it was shipped. Like this area right here was all busted up, and uh, I just took one of my older like sports games, Dreamcast, and, sw and switched it off. So now it's it's in awesome shape now. But I'm very very happy to have this game in my collection. I'm definitely going to start playing this again. And I'm going to be looking for Shenmue 2 for the Xbox, a uh, complete copy if I can. But um, as for now, I'm going to probably be spending more time trying to get more Dreamcast titles for my collection. But um, anyways, here's my overview of what I've got on my, X on my PS2 games I got from GameStop. Just fillers that I had that I wanted to get for the, full ca the complete cases that I got. Some good titles. And my pawn shop finds right here, which I'm pretty happy about. Fantasy, Fantasy Star and Kenamari Damasi, Shenmue. But uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed my pickups. Um, hopefully, I can get more pickups faster. But I'm, but I'm gonna tell you now. I'm gonna be very picky about what I get. So um, it, it'll probably be like a little bit more stretched out. But I appreciate. Everybody watch my videos. Keep showing me support. Thanks, guys.